Good afternoon. Well, good day, because of course it depends on where in the world you are. Well, I want to do some basic IT stuff as of this week. And the first thing I will do is column setting, meaning I will show you how to create a document, a Word document using column setting. Oftentimes, persons will be using this particular feature in Microsoft Word to create a document with column setting and get it all messed up. So I'm going to show you, walk you through the procedure as to how you, how you go about doing so without messing up your document. But before I go into it, I want to remind you to subscribe, like, and share. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like what I do and want more of what I do, just hit the notification bell so that you will be notified as to when I upload videos. This document was a document done to show the advantages of computers, using computers, as well as the disadvantages of using computers. And what I did was to put it in column form so that it could hold on one page. Another thing I want to highlight is the fact that it has several styles of column setting. If you want, I could zoom it up for you. Let me zoom it up for you and give you a better look. And this is what we're going to be creating today. So if you notice where you have advantages of using column of using computers it's in two columns look at it if you notice right in the middle it is split halfway so you could you could tell right away that it is a two column setting that is done here if you look where the ruler is you would see that it is also split into two look at the ruler if you notice there's a gray area between the two the left and the right side of the ruler so it tells you that it's a two column setting that is used right there then when I scroll down I'm going to show you that for the disadvantages of using computers a right column setting was used if you notice the left side is heavy as opposed to the right side which is a bit lighter so you have the left side being wider than the right side also it has a line between how do we get the line between so I will be showing you how you use the different types of line column settings as well as how you get the line between if you need to use line between so this is a document we're going to be creating today so first you need to open a Microsoft Word document that's the first thing so this is my Microsoft Word document that we're going to be typing in today. Another thing I want to highlight before we go into it is that the first part of the document is in single column. Now, once you open a document, automatically it comes up in single column. So you don't need to change your column setting in that, in that respect. But I'm going to show you how you go about changing the column setting when you reach number one. So first you're going to type advantages of using computers. It's already in one column as I told you. And if you notice it is also left aligned. By looking at it you might think that it is in two column but it's not. It's actually left aligned. It's not a part of the two column. It's actually in this single column. Okay, so this is what we're going to do first. So the first thing is to turn on your bold button and type advantages of using computers. Then you would press enter. Then you would go to layout. Then select column, the drop down arrow for column. And easily we could change it to two from this section here where my mouse pointer is but we're going to go to more columns because we want to choose some more setting 
once you do that you can choose multiple settings or choose to do different things inside so we're going to click on more columns then select two column do we want it applied to the whole document like you see down here no we want it to be applied to this section alone so we're going to choose the option that says this point forward when we need to change the column setting again we will go back there to change it so again we clicked on two column right here where my mouse pointer is then we go down to the bottom where you see apply to you're going to change it to this point forward not the whole document because not the whole document is in two column also i want you to look at the preset types of column settings that they have so you have one which is by default you can change it if you want because you may find yourself do um, creating a document that has two column then one column then three columns so you have to go there and change three column left side right side so today we're using two column and we're using right side but we're doing the two column section first so that's that where that is concerned by the way where the line between is concerned right where you see my mouse pointer that's where you would tick but the two column section is not the section with the line between so we will we will not be using that right now once you have selected your options you then click on ok and look notice your ruler above here is split into two because it's now two columns so what you would do you would type the first half of your column setting information right so your information here on the first side of your column your two-sided column you have all of this to type speed right down to consistency so of course you could give yourself some time to type the information all right all right so there you have it i have typed my information and if you notice also and at this point of course you can pause to type your information right so when you're finished typing the first side of your sec two column setting you will notice that your cursor is at the end there it's blinking right there if you should break the column to type the second part of your two-sided column wherever the cursor is that line is going to jump over the second part of the column setting with it and you don't want that to happen so what you'll have to do is press enter and ensure that the cursor is below what you have just typed once the cursor is below what you type you can then change to your second side of your column so what you call it is a column break so you're going to be breaking your column to get over to the second side of your column to type the second part of your information how do we do that how do we do a column break we go back to layout then breaks and then column what do you notice your cursor is now over to the second part of your two column setting do you notice that it is blinking there so what you need to now do is to type the information that belongs over that side of your column setting so there i have typed my the second part of my two column setting again you can pause your your video and type this part of it if you're typing along with me of course now what you notice again is that the what you will notice again is that the cursor is at the end of what i just typed now what we need to do now is to do a continuous break what a continuous break allows us to do or to tell microsoft word is that we want to continue the document on the same page so we need to do what we call a continuous break if we do not do a continuous break the information is going to jump 
on another page so a new page the cursor will end up on a new page basically and again before you can do anything else you have to move the cursor from where it is because remember whatever action you do wherever the cursor is that's where it will take place since we don't want the last line to be anywhere else but where it is now where we are going to be pressing the enter key to ensure that the cursor is below the information that you type now we can do our continuous break to tell microsoft word that we want to continue on the same page remember this is how we communicate with the computer right so we're going to go back to layout and then we're going to go to breaks this time we're going to be selecting continuous if you notice the cursor is still on the page so you can continue your document on the same page now let us take a look at the document that we are recreating. So we're going to be scrolling down to the bottom of the page. And if you notice, disadvantages of using computers is in a single column setting. So we're going to be changing it to a single column setting. So let us go back to our document. So since we're going to be changing our column setting to a single column we need to go back to layout then click on columns and then more columns and one column and then we're going to go to where we have applied to and change the option to this point forward if you notice every time we change a column setting we have to make these changes as well Otherwise, your document is going to be messed up. So when we are finished choosing all that we need to choose, we're going to select OK. Now we can type what we need to type. So we're going to be typing this. Advantages of using computers. Good. Then we're going to press Enter. So let us quickly glance at the document that we are preparing. If you notice, it is in right column setting. Remember, I told you when it's in a right column setting style, you will have the left side heavier than the right side in terms of information, of course. So more information will be on the left side as opposed to the right side. So again, we're going to be changing our column setting. So let us go back to the document that we are creating. And we're going to go back to layout, columns, and then more columns. And choose right side column, then line between. Remember, that section is a section that has the line between. So we have to tick the box, the box with line between. And then where we see apply to, we will click on this point forward and then click on OK. Then, of course, we would type our information. And, of course, if you're typing with me, you have to pause and type. Now, let us say we have typed the information. Of course, our cursor is going to end up where we stop typing. And if we don't move the cursor from there, whatever is in that line where the cursor is, is going to go wherever we put it next so since we're going to be doing what we call a column break remember to get over to the next side of the column to type the other side of information we need to do a column break so if we do not move the cursor from where it is now that line where the cursor is is going to go over with it which we don't want to happen so again we have to press enter then how do we do our column break do you remember let me remind you so you will go to breaks, column. And if you notice, the line between came up with it. Right? So we're now going to be typing the second part of our right-sided column setting. So there you have it, guys. That's the end of our lesson today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned and if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. So there you go. That's where we end today's lesson regarding column setting. 
of course you know how to create a document using column setting where you go if you want to choose a particular column setting style how you break the column to type on the other side of the column how you get line between and what you do when you want to remain on the same page remain as in continue to type your document on the same page so that it doesn't jump on another page so thank you guys for tuning in please for those newcomers please subscribe and for those who have not subscribed as yet those old comers of course who have not subscribed i am asking you kindly to subscribe watch the ads please it counts and i'm going to ask you kindly to like the videos and share it with other people and come back again thursday i will be looking at organization charts how do you create an organization chart in microsoft word so see you guys thursday bye